Hi guys, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. <laughs> Feels horrible just to pretend to do that. Hi guys, if you've never been here before, welcome. My name is Gio. Today I'll be making a video about reconstructing my real life house in The Sims 4. If you enjoy, please feel free to press the subscribe button and I hope to see you again soon. Yeah, at the moment I'm just measuring out the distance um, from the front of the block to the house. Um, in the council that we live in we were required to build 15 meters back from the boundary. That was quite a sizable loss of land. So we just made up for it with landscaping out the front. During this build I'm trying to make it all off by memory um, which was quite difficult. Um, I did design this house um, from scratch. We kind of adapted it from an existing plan from our building company. I kind of knew that it wouldn't be up to everyone's taste. Um, we kind of built the house to be as practical and as best suited to us as possible. Me and Pache both really enjoyed the open plan living uh, kind of aspect to a house so we didn't really want uh, all these rooms together we really wanted like an open kitchen an open living room and then having a spare lounge just for like our gaming room and made some few modifications uh, to the size of the rooms and we added in a bigger pantry and a few closets here and there which I couldn't really do on this block because our real life block was 15 meters uh, width and 30 meters deep which this isn't <laughs> it's more of a equal rectangle rather than a very skinny rectangle which our land is just trying to adapt the size of this house that i'm building on sims 4 to what we actually have in real life which was kind of difficult and it's not going to be precise but i did my best and now we're moving on to the coloring aspect and design part of building a house I'm terrible at design and so is Pache so we went for a very clean modern look we decided to do wood cladding at the front as a feature with grey brick we just wanted a basic look that appealed to multiple people the roofing tools in The Sims 4 has been always something that I hate and have hated for some reason I couldn't get the roof to start right on the outside of the boundary as you can see on the left side for some reason i couldn't get that to work i'm sure it's operator error so at the moment i'm just trying to pick what roof would be closest to the roof that we have on our existing house we have a color bond roof which is like steel roofing game did have steel like metal steel roofing but it didn't look anything like the real color bond steel does that we have in australia uh, and the reason for the colouring that I picked was um, it was just the closest matched. I think I actually picked, looks like a hay, a hay roof um, and just coloured it similar to the colour that we have on our real house. The lighting scenario in our house was probably the most stressful thing about the build uh, apart from actually getting the money from the bank to do it. <laughs> we had no idea where to place the lights in the house or any kind of the electrical work. We made the stupid decision to do standalone lights and fans rather than doing the light and ceiling fan combo. Uh, we don't have any flickering of light due to that, but if you look at the house and the, where the lights are positioned in regards to the fans, it just doesn't make sense. Getting a professional to set out your lighting and ceiling fan plan would be my biggest tip for new uh, house builders. At the moment I'm just drawing up the driveway. We have just a standard concrete driveway, nothing fancy. Uh, at the end of our build uh, we kind of ran out of money and we couldn't get approved for any more so we couldn't afford to get any special driveways. That's why it's so boring. Our garage door is just a slate grey um, basic double electric roller door. But Sims only have the basic manual roll door so I've just put two to make it a double. Um, I did seem to take a long time to find the door that I wanted. We have a door that has four horizontal uh, windows, which is seen in the bottom row of the door selections, third from the left. I didn't actually see that door to start with, so I picked some other random one. Now I'm just basically just trying to match the doors that we have in the house uh, to the closest that's in the game. 
The selection's pretty limited, but I think I got it pretty close. Sliding door is a sliding door, right? And now I finally found the door that I wanted. Uh, our real door in the house is actually cream painted, not timber. But they didn't have that option. And here is the timber flooring. Uh, the wooden flooring is fairly close to what we have in our real house. The stuff in the real house is a little bit darker. I think it's called natural gum, natural Australian gum. It's quite deeper and it does have more of a natural look to it in terms of like the wood graining. And it's not perfectly manufactured to look exactly the same. And now to painting the walls. Our house has all the same uh, colored walls. Uh, it's some kind of white. I can't remember what it was called, but I was not painting different rooms, different colors. That would be an absolute nightmare. Uh, we, as we said before, we really appreciated the clean look and having every wall white was the perfect way to do that. Now I'm getting started on the landscaping. Our letter box is from Bunnings, which is like a hardware store in Australia. Famous for the sausage sizzles. Our letter box is just a timber one with a hole in it, basically, um, from Bunnings. At the edging of our front yard, we have garden beds, so I'm just marking them out at the moment. And now I'm putting in some plants that are most similar to the ones that we have in our yard. Our yard faces the sun 100% of the time throughout the day, so we have drought friendly plants. Trying to get the windows uh, to match what we have at our existing house was a nightmare. All of these windows designs are very American and do not look like anything a normal window would look like. Um, in our house we basically only have just a basic window, it's a square with some bars on it. Surprisingly the designing of the kitchens was fairly simplistic. Uh, we went to the place that uh, did the building of the kitchens for the company that we built through um, and they had very good samples in the showroom and basically we just copied off that. Um, what the Sims 4 have for their colouring is nothing like we have in real life. Uh, we have a very caramel, kind of caramel, more like a mocha caramel um, cupboards with a grey stone bench top um, which <laughs> matches a lot better than this um, but our stove and fridge are very similar. And now I'm finally just going through and just furnishing the house the exact same way as our current house is furnished. Where the three couches are all lined up together we have a big L-shaped lounge that basically takes up the entire area um, and we also have our dining room table smashed up against the wall. <laughs> um, Obviously I haven't got the house exactly to scale. At the moment I'm just making a little linen closet there. We actually have our linen closet doors matching our kitchen cabinet doors. So it's a nice flow in the area. Oh, we have grey carpeting in the house. Uh, it's one of those carpets that when you vacuum it, it has that cool pattern on it, um, which is really sweet. Makes it feel extra clean. Um, our showers actually take up uh, the whole area to the left side there. Um, the showers are 1.6 meters wide so they're pretty good. You can basically lie down in them. Uh, we have full length mirrors as well in each bathroom. We actually have, I made a mistake in this, we actually have two sinks in our ensuite bathroom. I also found out that Sims 4 doesn't have a washing machine for clothes or any laundry products. Um, so I've just put in like a bench for the sink and some piles of clothes in there. Back room we just have uh, a recliner. We use one of the back rooms as a spare room and another as just a storage room really. So basically there's just a recliner and a bench in that room. Later on I end up putting a guitar behind the chair. That is 100% correct. We have a guitar that hides behind that recliner chair in the back room. Our master bedroom is pretty simple. It's just a bed in the middle of the room with a plasma TV for watching Netflix in bed. And now the grand room, the streaming and gaming room. Um, Pache actually has a massive bench for his computer. It's like two meters long. There was no equivalent to that in this game.
and obviously you got to have the pet bed so they can sleep. And as many of you know, Sims 4 does not have cars like Sims 3 did, so I'm just putting in some toy cars. And now the finished product. The front of the house obviously does look a bit strange with the gutters and the roof not going right over the top of the foundation of the building. This pretty much looks exactly how a house looks from this street. It was actually quite fun building the house. I'm hoping to make this kind of like a Sims series, making Sims for myself and for Pache. And then I've actually managed to make the house pretty much identical to what it is in real life and I think that's pretty cool. Next time I'll probably definitely build it on a more uh, similar block, so a bit longer and thinner, so I can get the dimensions just right. But yeah, I really enjoyed doing this and I hope you guys enjoyed watching. As I said, I'm probably going to be making more videos for Sims on my YouTube channel. If you enjoyed the video, please feel free to press subscribe. And you can also follow me on Twitch at twitch.tv forward slash geopunk underscore. Thanks again. I hope to see you next time.